Greetings, future J. Stu. Well, my new job has been really interesting. It's been really enlightening to learn about an organization that I knew nothing about a few weeks ago. So sorry for no video last week. It has been really interesting getting used to everything around here, and I just never got around to it. So hopefully this week I'll be able to put it out more than just one. So this video is about three weeks ago. All in all, it has been a great time. However, some days it has been difficult to adapt to so many new things. Well, I find it really interesting the way we as humans try and hold on to some semblance of the way things have been in the past. I mean, rather than being comfortable with the present changing us into something new, we want to find something that looks just like the past. For example, me moving out here to St. Louis. All I really want to do some days is find friends that are just like my friends back home in Colorado, but that's not fair to them. And I would love to have a church like my last church, but that's not going to happen either. Oh well though, one of the reasons I wanted to do this was so that I would be stretched, and that is definitely happening. So some steps for my story, I've been looking for a church around here, and I heard about this really great church that meets on Saturday nights. So to the story. So three Saturdays ago, my friend and I we're going to go to this hot air balloon festival that they're having in one of the local parks. Well, the festivities were to start at noon, but due to some unforeseen circumstances, we were not able to leave when we had planned. Due to my friend having to run some errands, his roommate and his roommate's girlfriend asked me to join them for lunch. Well, we went to this really cool deli where they play live blues music on Saturdays. So we just sat around and chilled and listened to the music while eating our lunch. Well, my friend gets done with his errands and he joins us up at the deli and we decide to head on over to the festival after we finish our lunch. Well, on our way over to the festival, my friend gets a call that one of his friends had to take their daughter to the hospital and my friend needs to go over and watch his kids. So I end up dropping him off and heading over to the festival by myself, which is a little bit of a bummer, but as they say, life happens, make the best of it. And so I did! It was crazy! There was so many hundreds of people there, and there was games for kids, and things for adults to do, and even better, they hadn't even launched the hot air balloons yet. Well, as I was waiting for the balloons to launch, I remember that the church I wanted to visit was at the same time as the balloons were supposed to launch. So I decided that since I was there at the balloon festival, I would just wait for the balloons to launch and just enjoy myself and not worry about heading over to church. Well, there were quite a lot of balloons and most of them were really, really pretty. I even saw one that looked a lot like the old Denver Nuggets logo. Well, after all of that, I decided to head over and try and catch the end of church. Well, I made it there just in time to catch the last two songs. And afterwards, I started talking to this guy and was letting him know that I wanted to get more connected with this church. And after talking for a while, he just invited me over to his friend's house for a barbecue. So I was really excited about that. Who doesn't enjoy a good barbecue? So when I got there, I met a lot of really cool new people. Well, we started talking about the school system and how crummy it is here in St. Louis. Well, a lot of them were saying how the schools were worried about losing their accreditation and how a lot of them already had. Well, we talked about how it's a vicious cycle and how the teachers that come into the school district for the city usually end up leaving and going to private and charter schools because the schools are so bad. Well, in the end, Saturday turned out to be a really great day. I met lots of cool new people, saw some awesome hot air balloons. I just had a great time. So I wanted to say out here I'm working with kids and that's why I'm really interested in the school system. All in all, I'm really enjoying doing programming with the kids out here. They're all really, really great, even when they're completely bonkers, but hey, we were all kids once, and we were all bonkers. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down there. If you liked it, like it. And if you want to subscribe, click on Gizmo.